Alrighty guys, I'm Casey and welcome to a brand new episode of Project Ozone. Last episode we worked on this building and I finished it off camera. And I gotta say that I do kinda like it. These pillars, I definitely went with a very different kind of theme than what I originally had over there. With these, I'm not 100% sold on it from this angle, but I think that it's not terrible. Like, I know these pillars don't go down to the ground and that kind of makes it look a little bit funky at this point in time, but um, that's because I didn't have enough stone to actually go around. Well, I did, but I just, I didn't get around to it, okay? I was I was doing all of this late last night and I was kind of busy and um, I was I was waiting for a friend to get in. We were going to watch something together and yeah. So, and th th this was what I was going to start working on in this episode, but um, I was going to start working this episode on sieving and and. and automating this process. So I did what I normally did and I sort of had a look for the uh, the auto sieve but it's it's not here. And then I had a look a little bit more and neither is the hammer. So if I am to get this done I definitely needed to figure out how this works because this seems like the only way to really automate this. And so I went and watched uh, one of the YouTubers that I watched, a guy called System Claps. I actually watched him do this, and I figured this out a little bit more, and I thought, this would be great. But then, I'm lacking a certain thing to pick up the drops, you see. We need a way to pick it up. And the way that I like to use, myself, anyway, is these item collectors. Uh, but as you can see, these require an ender pearl. Other than that, they're relatively cheap. Ooh, philosophers... I thought it was going to be a little cheapy method, but, um, yeah, that's not, is it? No. So, the end crystal is away, the end fragment. So, the nebulous heart. So, I, I was, like, kind of, like, thinking, like, about this and how I wanted to sort of advance down this, ro this route. And I figured, well... Oh, hello. That has only 1% chance. The the best option for me to go down is to create an actual automatic mob farm. And to do that, I need to go to the nether and I need to get a drop of evil. And to do that, I need to be sort of like equipped to die in armor. And it started down this whole rabbit hole. So normally, what I would like to do is I would like to just, you know, I, I would make a lot of these episodes a lot quicker paced but because I'm on such a tight schedule this week I can't do that I don't have the time I literally only have like two or three hours a day to record and I do three videos in that day um, and my car my car's finally fixed and I gotta go pick that up and I've got no way of getting to that and that's in two towns over so that's a long walk tomorrow I'm not doing that today so I thought today we'd just go down the the armor route and part of the reason that I want to do this is um I saw System Collapse mention that he could get flight from this, so I'm like, oh right, you probably get flight from one of these. But then I just thought, you know, what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a little look at at, at, at these things. And uh, as it turns out, flight is actually an ability token. Here, look, for 768. So I'm not sure how many stacks that is, but it's probably over. It's definitely over 10. It's probably like 20. Uh, like 13 or 14 stuff. So a little bit of something that you don't know. YouTube side of things, okay? This is a, this is a YouTube secret. You won't find this secret anywhere else on YouTube. It's a YouTube secret, okay? So so come in close. I got I got to whisper it. When you're a YouTuber, guaranteed, guaranteed, someone is gonna call you the moment you hit that record button. All morning I've been up, no one called. The moment I hit that record button, someone called. It seems to happen to me all the time. It's a top secret. It's one of those Murphy's Law things. So, uh, where were we? Yeah. So, to, to sort of like get to that mob farm, the rabbit hole that we need to go down is the armor. Because I need armor to be able to get a drop of evil because I want to use a drop of evil. But the armor in this pack is, I think it's the K one, isn't it? Kappa. Nope. It's Iota. This is like the the progression for 
the armor in this pack and it's crazy and we are going to start down it plus like you get random acts of kindness for, for all of this so so like the first thing we need to do is we need to create this workbench and I have no idea how we do this and it, it, it works a lot better when you can actually spell the word workbench so it's lapis okay that's easy what is this and block of charcoal okay so actually that's not like a majorly difficult scenario so we'll put the charcoal in there although I think I'm going to need some more charcoal because this requires four blocks of charcoal and I've only got enough for three okay good job I made some up <laughs> so let's actually make that up I need what was the other one a crafting table I know that and then lapis is that lapis or is that just blue dye I can use a lapis. Okay, so hopefully I've got some lapis. I actually, now I'm thinking about this, I don't think I have lapis. Because I remember bunging it all on my sword. I did, I did. I thought I thought a booty cat. I did, I did see a booty cat. Okay, so I've got to sift some gravel to get some lapis. I could always go to the deep dark and get some from there. But uh, it does beg the question of what level are we going to need to put flight on us if we were to get it. And these are frozen corpses. Corpses, frozen cores. So I'm having a little bit of a think here. Yeah, I definitely need to sieve some gravel, don't I? Yeah, so I'm 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 gonna get on that. I'll sieve a uh I'll sieve my usual nine stacks. And I'll be back with you in just a little bit. Well that wasn't nowhere near as profitable as I would have liked in terms of diamonds, but we did get a reasonable sum of stuff, and I suppose we can always go into the, the deep dark to to get some diamonds and Thought I saw something over there. It must have just been the tree. Okay. So let's get this workbench crafted up. We should have everything that, that I need apart from a crafting table. Uh, the question is, do I actually have a crafting table lying around? I feel like I should do. But it doesn't look like I do. If I do, I apologize if it's there and I can't see it. So I did organize my setup a little bit better. Look, I moved these over here. I forgot to actually mention that. So, and this is going to be the chest that we sort of like use and utilize for the episodes crafting okay so can i not like craft myself the crafting table i could have sworn i did okay so there's a crafting table so let's get this workbench and the workbench is now here okay cool so the first bit that we need to do is craft this leather armor okay and leather armor is a little bit difficult unless you've got string like I do. So, let's just have a little look at leather armor first. Leather. Because this requires the workbench to be crafted in. And it's crafted the same way as all the other armor is. Yeah, it's just crafted the same, isn't it? Yeah. So, to make this, we need to make this woven cotton, okay? Okay. So we're going to make two stacks of this woven cotton, and I forget what it is exactly to make leather. Um, what is it? Ah, it's like that. So, no, it's that. So 27 pieces of leather is more than the leather will actually end up needing. So, let's craft ourselves the helmet, the boots, the leggings. Okay, so the, the, the boots are slightly different. What's the boot? Is the boots really shaped? It's normally shapeless, so it is shaped. It just has to be up there. Okay, so there's, like, our armor. And now we've got this. So let's claim this random act of kindness. Let's claim this random act of kindness. And now we need to move on to the coal armor. Okay, so how do we make this coal? It is... Basically the thing in this... Is that blocks of coal? That is blocks of coal. Oh, a blocks of coal... I don't think I'm going to have enough for 24 blocks of coal. Let's have a look. 
Well, I, I, I guess I do. So, I think... We go like that to make the boots. We go like this to make the helmet. We go like this to make... Actually, I think the chest plate is going to be up one. Yep. And then we uh, go like this to make the leggings, right? So... Oh! This grants us night vision. Okay, what did the leather grant us? Because I never had a look at that. Didn't, didn't, doesn't grant anything. So there's a coal armor, which is good. So we can claim that. And now we move on to copper. And I'm going to guess that copper is not blocks. I'm going to guess this is just ingots. That's hope because I don't have enough copper for, for that. So... Let's see if it is the same. It'll just be boots. Yep. And does this say what it grants us? No, it doesn't. Okay. So, let's grab ourselves the chest plate. Grab ourselves the helmet. And this is just a, a long and arduous process. And normally I would just skip this. Normally. But because I'm on such a tight schedule this week, if I want videos to go out, and that's kind of important to get videos out, I'm going to have to, unfortunately, do it this way. So we've now got this. And the next one is tin. Now, tin is something I actually don't think I have all that much of. I actually have a lot more tin than what I initially thought. Okay. So, let's go like this so we can get the tin helmet and we can get the tin boots and we can well we can't do that can we know because I, I don't need it in that top bit and we got a t tin chest plate okay so we're working our way up and again this doesn't actually add anything to us so after tin we go to Electrum. Now, this gets interesting because we need to craft Electrum. We get to Electrum and then Gold. Okay. So, if I put this on, this gives us four and a half armor bars. Okay. So, we need to craft up some Electrum. Now, Electrum is kind of easy to make, but it's also a little bit of a grind. It is just gold and silver, which is somewhere in here. Silver is. You just simply drop these in the smeltery together and they would smelt up and they will grant you exactly what we want, which is Electrum. Which is it's going to take a little bit of time, I'm afraid. But I do want to show this. Oh, I just knocked my glass there. So, of course, the gold takes a little bit longer to, to smelt down. As you can see now, we're actually getting Electrum here. And then the Electrum is going to... I actually have quite a lot of iron already in there. <laughs> I completely forgot I stuck a bunch of iron in there yesterday because of the, the second block that I want to use because we talked about something interesting. I want to do like a sewer system underneath the city. And that's where I'm going to connect like a pipe from this. It's going to run all the way under the sewer system, all the way to wherever we need it to go. Basically. So, let's get this Electrum. We need 24 pieces of Electrum, unfortunately. We've only got one coming through at the moment. So, let's have a little look and see what's next. So, we've got Electrum, we've got Gold, we've got const Constant. So, the question is, I don't actually know how to make this. This is something new to me. I mean, I don't think it's that new, because I'm almost certain that this has been... Um, in here before. Here we go. Copper and nickel makes two. Okay. So if I grab some 16 copper and 16 nickel and we can then go ahead and get that going and then I'll make 32 and we only need 24. Is it 24? Yes, I'm sure it's 24 for the armor. So what comes after 
constant because obviously void crystal ah that's where we get into something a little bit different okay void crystal you see this requires this atomic reconstructor okay so how do i make the atomic reconstructor i mean do i even have any coal left after all of that i don't think i have let's just have a look this does require this just requires the void crystal okay and there is is there any other ways? The Amandan Tablet, we can buy eight of them. That's just like a whole wormhole of stuff. I've gotten into that mod before. And it's not really the best. So the best thing we can do is actually make this atomic reconstructor, which is very cheap. So any black quartz, iron, and sticks pretty much. So that. And I'm sure we've got black quartz in here, don't we? We don't have black quartz. Okay. So, let's have a look. How do we make black quartz? Um, so, no, 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 no. You. Where do I get you from? Ah, smelting up crushed black quartz. Right. Is, it is very possible that I put those in here. No. Okay. So, the question is, where do I get crushed black quartz from? I mean, you would think you'd be able to get quartz through sieving. I mean, it's entirely possible. I mean, it looks basically that generates in the world between layer 0 and 47. So it looks like I actually need to go mining very briefly to actually get some of these black quartz. So I think I'm going to do that. And I'm not, I'm not going to actually use this this armor yet but um i don't think i've actually shown you guys the mine in its in it of itself actually let me grab some hammers very briefly so yeah i think i'm gonna go and try and find some black quartz and i'll come back to you in just a little bit so that journey was a bit of a bust but no i won't have any up there because the only way to get it is to mine it i've spent about i don't know about half an hour I want to say, going around the deep dark, and I just couldn't find it. So it probably is there, I just got unlucky. I didn't find any diamonds, and I was at diamond level as well, so <clears throat> it might have changed in this pack, but I thought we'd carry on with the upgrading, and I would go ahead and uh, sort of get that taken care of between episodes. So let's get this mol molten constant out. So let's actually get this, elect this uh, these bits back out and upgrade them with Electra. We may have to continue this into the next episode, although in the next episode there are a couple of things that I do want to create machine-wise as, as well, and I'll probably do them at the beginning of the episode uh, just in case. So, let's do this. Like that, so we've got that and we got our boots. Now let's get our, whoops, let's get our leggings and finally our chest plate. So now we're up to Electrum. Sweet. And again, we can claim our random acts of kindness. And, um, where are we? Gold. Okay, gold should be an easy requirement. Where's my gold? There's my gold. It's in a different chest, that's why. More one. Ah, oh, sometimes I can be such a moronic idiot. Nope. Ah, yeah, I've got to start with the... There. Nope. Okay. Maybe this requires something different. But it goes straight to gold, look. No, 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 it doesn't. It Before it goes to gold, it goes to silver, then aluminium. Then Void Crystal. Right, I was going across and then across. No, it's Serpentines, look. It Serpentines. Okay. So, I was going to say, gold, a little bit of a jump. Um, we need silver. So, let's do this. Upgrade this to silver, which means we're not going to be able to put the right one in first. 
means that constant that I put in was pointless because I'm going to get stuck at Void Crystal, unfortunately. I mean, there's maybe another way to get it. I don't think there is, but we'll certainly have a lock. We'll certainly have a lock. So, we've got Void Crystal. It requires the Void Crystal, right? We do need to go to Aluminium first, though. And... We're not Void Crystal. I really don't think there is another way to get Void Crystal that's going to be really worth it. Obviously, we've got these ways, but these all require this. And and, and the, the way to get it isn't that difficult. I'm just struggling to find those, those black quartz. So I think we're going to find them between episodes. Uh, between this episode and the next. Let's get ourselves Aluminium. Because I am recording two episodes today. I'm like doing it back to back today because... Tomorrow I've got a bit of a walk ahead of me tomorrow because I've got to walk all the way over to uh, the neighbouring town. It's about four, five, six miles. I don't even know where it is to be honest with you because I've never been there before. But uh, i got to walk to go get my car and, you know, I was going to get someone to take me but the person who normally takes me is busy. And so I thought, hey, you know what, I recently got a dog. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll get a friend to walk with me and just have a chill. I enjoy a nice long walk anyway so it's like no skin off my back. Yeah, I could wait a couple of days and then the person who would normally take me would be able to take me, but I think I'm just going to go and go for a nice little bit of a walk. I, I enjoy a walk. So we definitely need this void crystal, and that requires like uh, another rabbit hole of stuff to go down. So I think for the time being, we're going to leave it here with this. question is, where's the durability? It's only 112, so the durability does drop when we go up to gold. But um, let's let's have a little look see where we are in like terms of uh, random acts of kindness now um, it may be worth like growing seeds as well but I want to I want to wait till we we get like properly into that there was another one that I completed by accident it was prosperity oh we got electrum and is this we got bronze signalum and endium so thingy isn't one Pulverizer, induction, smelter, magma crucible, compactor, centrifuge, fracture, glacier. There used to be one that would repair your items, and I can't remember what it's called. I know that there's one from actually additions. There we are, look. I got I got these two as well. But I'm I'm not gonna claim them because we haven't started this quest line yet. And when we start this quest line, I'll show you guys like how you get them and whatnot. Uh, sulfur you get by mining coal, by the way. I mentioned this a couple of episodes ago. We we had sulfur. I was like, I don't know where I got it from, and I got it from mining coal. So, let's see. We have... We have 70. No, 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 we don't have 70. How the hell does that equal 70? That's 90. Not 70. It's not 70. It's 90. We have 90. But yeah, I think that's going to call it for this episode, guys. So, if you have enjoyed the video, please do consider leaving a like. It really helps out the channel, and I really do appreciate it. So please do leave that like. And click subscribe if you want to see more from me, guys. I'm Casey Owen. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.